Did Billy the Kid really die in a shootout? Or did he cheat death and live to be 90 years old in Heiko, Texas? He went by many names. Henry McCarthy, William Henry Bonney, Oliver Roberts, and most notably, Billy the Kid. The infamous outlaw was first arrested at the age of 16 years old. At the age of 18, he shot and killed a man during an altercation at an army camp in Arizona. At 21 years old, he was believed to have killed 21 men and was shot and killed by Pat Garrett with a bounty on his head. And the man forever known as Billy the Kid was laid to rest in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Then again, maybe he wasn't. Maybe he lived to be 90 years old in Heiko, Texas. And maybe his name was Brushy Bill. Brushy Bill Roberts. Some of the best evidence to prove that Brushy Bill may be Billy the Kid comes from Pat Garrett's own deputies. When the deputy United States Marshal that was with Pat Garrett at the time rolled the body over, he looked up at Pat Garrett. You've killed the wrong man. Brushy Bill claimed that Pat Garrett had actually shot and killed another gunslinger named Billy Barlow and had passed his body off as the kids, which had allowed the kid to vanish and escape to Mexico. The only three witnesses to alleged killing of the kid by Pat Garrett were Garrett himself and the deputy, deputies who later protested it. We were just rolled in to Hamilton, Texas. This is the square. What do we say the population was? 2,700, 2,800? Something like that. A little under 3,000 people. Pharmacy, soda fountain, Jordan Pharmacy. Real estate. You let me go, buddy. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Elevate Fitness. Conference Center. Community Center. Health Care. And that is the city and the police. And this is the way we came in. Let's go around here to the back side. Sneak peek around back. That's the whole gas station. Yeah. That's cool. Custom fabrication. That's what y'all looking forward. Yep. Good job. Change back. Fire truck, water truck, water tanker. Pine Prairie. Pine Prairie? Huh. I don't know where Pine Prairie is. There's some older stuff to the left. Pecan Creek sweepstakes. They got one of them gambling places. The sweepstakes. to the left. Impassable during high water. I'll show them. Give me some beers. City Park. City Park. Got some slides. That reminds me of the playground we had at our elementary school. Yeah. The wood. Some swings, some slides. They're all underwater, though. That's not good. <laughs> They've been having a they got lot a pretty of big rain. little park. Pretty big. Get that road chicken out there. Get out of here.
those parts are so gross. <laughs> yeah. Down their little football stadium. Football field. Let's go to the left. Bunch of old houses up here. Oh, oh. This one's for rent. Little place for rent. Next dodge, wondering what we're doing. Yeah. Little houses. There's skulls, not fake skeletons. Little houses, really. little houses. No way out of him. No. He just gave you that side look. He did. He didn't turn He's the head, he just on. looked you. Side eyed you. We got to find the best house and the worst house. Found There's the, the chickens. chickens. A whole bunch of them on the right hand side back there. And the poochie. Poochie poochie. Smoochie <laughs> boochies. He said that and the lady turned and looked. I don't know if she heard you. <laughs> That's funny. Poochie poochie. Probably just double taking that camera up on the roof. She had her back to us. Uh oh, <laughs> maybe she answered. That's she answered was, to the poochie call. That's what I thought. That's a road. We should go down that road. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. It says it's the end of the road work. Yeah. Impassable during high water. Plumbing company. Plumbing, plumbing. Hamilton Bulldogs. never been to Hamilton before and we don't know what's here but we do know it's the county seat of Hamilton County and their courthouse was 18 something 1897 is when it was built and it got put on the National Historic, Historic Registry and when 1980 1980. So it is a historic site. Oh, he's going to come here. You want to come here? Yeah, let me get on out here. You go ahead. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like those petrified wood buildings. Yeah. Smaller houses, nice, pretty well upkept. Some decent brick ones. Like the school over on the next street over on the right side. Kitty, kitty. Found the kitty. Oh my. That one's, that uh, one's falling down. Falling down. Yeah. Look at these. These are apartments or something, right? Man, abandoned, abandoned apartments. apartments. We gotta get that one too. But yeah, abandoned apartments. Wonder if we can squeeze through here. That's crazy. I don't think it's apartments. It's almost like a, a facility. Uh, 
retirement or something? Nursing home or retirement home or something? Not sure. Not sure. Here comes the dude. <laughs> he didn't even look over. <laughs> he was real curious though. He pulled up behind us and went a different way. Maybe, might be somebody looking. No, no meter. Nobody living there. That one's been completely taken over. Mm hmm. one down at the end. Kitty kitty in the kitty, kitty. Oh, right. Good old pond down there. A little lake. Giant overflows. Look at these places. Man. New homes. Wow. One of those. Those are really cool. Looks like it'll be uh there it is. For sale. Looks like it'll be uh Easy maintenance, stone and metal. Mm -hmm. Easy maintenance. Hamilton, Texas. They got a huge head mount on their That's awesome. House. Yeah. Three of them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hamilton. I like it. Another good one. I like this area. Really? I like all these little towns in this area. Me too. Bump ahead. Floor it. How come it doesn't go all the way across? We just go around it. <laughs> it looks like an old, old school. Building. They got a greenhouse at their school. That's cool. That's really cool. A big old bell. Oh, a bulldog bell. Junior high gymnasium. That must be the junior high. What do you think? Should we go that way? I said do not enter. So I guess we won't enter. <laughs> There's your sign. Nice. A frog dancing out there. I was like on top of the hill. Pecan Creek Park. I think we saw Pecan Creek Park. There's a Dairy Queen down there. What? They got a Dairy Queen. I like some Dairy Queen. Huh? I like Dairy Queen. You like Dairy Queen? I have a Central Park. Yep. And they got homemade burritos at the coffee shop. That's kind of odd. Hamilton. Oh, wow, that's a big one. All soaps. And you're on the left. That's a big old house. Yeah, look at this one. That's like it's old. That's very It's like it's real old. Yeah, 
got noisy tires. His tires was noisy. Give them the population. There's the rest of it. Okay. Median age of 35 years old for Hamilton. World famous hamburgers on the left hand side right up here. Woody's. Woody's hamburgers. Closed today. Donuts. Chicken. They got some chicken. They got a Subway. We've got per capita income, 20,534. And we've got the median household income, 38,698. So it's pretty low, which puts us at a 27% below poverty. So it's a pretty high poverty rate. And I mean, it's kind of obvious when you have a household income below 40,000 that the poverty rate is going to be fairly high. That place is gone. Look at the roof and everything on that. Wow. Turn around. 27 on the poverty. 16 minute average, average travel time to work. got 1,278 housing units. Median home value is, they got windows knocked out and everything. Median home value is 97,000, which is kind of high for the income being so low, you know? Um, 72% high school graduate or higher, 10% with bachelor's degree, 7.2% foreign born. Ten percent of the population has veteran status. The so historical this, marker at yeah, the cemetery. It Just for the cemetery. Um Ann Ann Whitney. Whit Whitney? Okay, what is it? Who did Ann Whitney? Let's back up. Because usually they don't have a person's name on them like that, right? Ann Whitney. Elizabeth Ann Whitney, a native of Missouri, accepted a teaching position at the newly erected rural school located about seven miles north of present day Hamilton in 1867. The school called the Leon River School was situated on a rise overlooking the Warlene Valley. On a hot summer afternoon in 1867, Anna and her students were suddenly attacked by Comanche Indians. According to local tradition, Anne was repeatedly struck by arrows fired through cracks in the schoolhouse walls. Although fatally injured, she nevertheless bravely aided the escape of all but one of her young students man wow. they wonder why we call them savages you know because i mean that was some... they attacked a woman with and children yeah it wasn't the men no it seems like the comanches were bad like they they were bad about just slaughtering people and it turns out they might have had a good reason the Council House fight, often re referred to as the Council House Massacre, was a fight between soldiers and officials of the Republic of Texas and a delegation of Comanche chiefs during a peace conference in San Antonio on March 19, 1840. The meeting took place under an observed truce with the purpose of negotiating the exchange of captives and ultimately facilitating peace after two years of war. The Comanches sought to obtain recognition of the boundaries of Comancheria, their homeland, while the Texians wanted the release of Texian and Mexican citizens held prisoner by the Comanches. 
The council ended with 12 Comanche leaders shot to death inside the council house, 23 others shot in the streets of San Antonio, and 30 taken captive. The Comanche tortured 13 captives to death in response. The incident ended in any chance for peace and led to years of further hostility and war. Got a camper out here. Cool. Little farmhouse up here on the left side. I like Hamilton and Meridian. And I like all of them. All these little towns. Cranspills Gap. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Junkyard. Busier than I expected it to be. What they got in there? The park. Oh, that's a park. There's something old up there in front. Something old? Let's go see. We like old. Yeah. They got a jet ski on top of their little. That's what I was going to say. That's what I saw that was old. Yeah. Booth's corner. That's funny. That is funny. There's two jet skis. Jet skis. Cody's. Cody's. bunch of ducks out there. I'll see them ducks. It's a dead end road. It's starting to look like a dead end road. Chicky chickies. Chicky chicky. I heard a roosty. It's a dead end to the right. What's up, Poochie? What's up, Poochie? Poochie, Poochie! Chickies. Chickens? Go. Yo, chickens! He was an old, old dog, yeah. Like he was half blind trying to figure out what was going on. Wow, it looked like the road almost washed out here. I hear music. What's the music coming from? Here? In the corner lots for sale. Is it? Mm -hmm. I need to try to build something in the city. What we're looking for. No. Definitely not what we're looking for. Let's see if our camera's still rolling. We are still rolling, surprisingly. Beer and wine. Beer and wine, beer and wine. Blue dog. Liquor store. Blue dog. I like their blue dog. Me too. Got 
the one blue eye. Drive through. Go down the liquor store road over here. You need to go potty? Outhouse. Nice. <laughs> One on each side, man. One men, one woman. There's a kitty. The baby kitty. Oh, the baby kitty. Yep, I was talking about this one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Kitty. Anything down that way? For sale. Little blue house. Your tiny blue house. Hamilton looks like the cool one. Like all the hills. Yeah. That's what I really like too, is just being able to have a little bit of a view. And it's not just like one hill where, you know, there's a bunch of hills everywhere and you can find something with a decent view all over the place, really. We appreciate y'all riding with us. We're going to keep on cruising. We'll see y'all next time. Catch us on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Show us some support. Leave some comments down there. Tell us if you know anything about Hamilton. Appreciate y'all. Catch you next time. Thank you.